The action button on the Apple Watch Ultra is a very powerful tool. Unfortunately, by default, Apple allows us to set only a few basic actions, like workout, stopwatch and flashlight. That's really boring, and most of the time, people aren't using this magic orange button. Time to change it thanks to the power of the Shortcuts app. As you probably know, Shortcuts is a visual scripting application developed by Apple that allows users to execute a pre-programmed set of actions. These custom-made scenarios allows people to save time. And time is money. In this video, I will show you 5 great ideas on how to finally make your action button great again. But before starting the actual video, I just want to make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for all my future videos. I would really appreciate your support. So my first idea for the action button is to set the opening of any app of your choice. Not the default apps, but for example calendar or music, whatever you want. On your iPhone, go to the shortcuts app. Tap on the little plus icon and create a new shortcut. Select open app action. Select the app of your choice, for example music in my case. Give your shortcut a distinctive name, like for example Open Music Apple Watch. Once you created your shortcut, long press on it and check the option Show on Apple Watch. On your Apple Watch, go to Settings, Action button, select a shortcut. Select the shortcut you've just created. And voila, just by pressing the orange button, you can open any app of your choice on your Apple Watch in just one second. My second idea for the action button is to use the Always On Display Assistant shortcut. If you want to quickly turn on or off the Always On Display or just disable the Wake On Wrist to save battery life, you can do so. Simply run my shortcut Always On Display Assistant. The shortcut allows you to quickly manage your display settings just by pressing the action button. Super handy feature. If you want to disable the Always On Display without going to power saving mode, this shortcut is a must have. The download link will be in the description of this video. Idea number three is lights on or off. A rather simple shortcut that can simply turn on or off lights at your home if you have HomeKit accessories. This orange button is really visible at night and you can quickly turn on lights without entering the home app. It really saves you precious seconds. You can also customize it and launch a specific light scene or even turn on or off any other HomeKit accessories like for example your outlets. Idea number four is the play menu shortcut. This shortcut allows you to easily perform four most common actions related to playing music, podcasts or audiobooks. When you choose open music, it simply opens your standard music app where you can play your tracks. Shuffle music gives you several additional options like shuffle recently added, one, two or three years, although this feature works only on iPhone. By selecting play podcast, it will propose you a list of all your podcasts to choose from. You just need to select your favorite show and it will automatically start playing it. No need to open the podcast app or make any additional moves, everything happens instantly. Open Audible and open Apple Books, well obviously just opens the audiobooks apps. And my last idea for the action button is my custom made web search shortcut that allows you to quickly access Safari right on your wrist. Thanks to this tiny WebKit browser, you can quickly search on the web for some information right on your Apple Watch. Of course, web browsing on the Apple Watch sounds like a joke, but technically you can do that. By the way, I made a separate tutorial video about Safari web browser on the Apple Watch. Check it out if you are interested. Guys, as you can see, thanks to the power of the Shortcuts app, you can create any custom actions for your action button to match your specific lifestyle. Actually, I made a whole series of videos about the Shortcuts app and even a full tutorial on how to create your own custom made shortcuts. Check it out as well if you're interested. Thanks for watching. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye.